we will begin just kind of with a nice grounding breath and meditation. So yeah, if you want to sit with your feet kind of in front, or you want to sit with, you know, cross-legged, or if you want to lie down, really however is comfortable. You guys can even, yeah, rest on your backs if you want. And remember that our yin yoga, we're going to cool off a little bit because we're not moving, you know, and and it's a cooling practice. It's a practice that resonates with the feminine energy of the moon. The moon is it's not warm, right? <laughs> the moon is the opposite of the sun. So we might cool off. So if you want to gather your blankets now or your mittens or whatever you might want. Yeah. <laughs> and I love what Noam you said about celebrating our uniqueness as well as our connection. So perhaps dropping into that tonight and our root chakra. Our yen practice is a receptive practice. And so let's just open up our hearts to receive tonight. And for now, let's just let the breath come and go, not trying to change it. Maybe closing the eyes. Maybe it's the first time in our day that we've really sat and been with ourselves. Let's invite that into our space. As we've all heard before, that root chakra is at the base of the spine. And our chakras are energy centers in the body. So we awaken our root chakra in order for that energy to flow throughout our subtle body, our physical body, as well as our emotions and our thoughts. So now let's bring our awareness to the base of the spine. Maybe even imagining that base of the spine becoming heavy, like the earth element that it's related to. Not in a sluggish or dull way, but in a grounded, centered way into our own body. Maybe seeing if we can feel at home in our own physical body. Relaxing our elbows and our arms can rest freely. Relaxing our face, maybe relaxing our feet. And maybe now bring an awareness to breath and see if we can expand the stomach outward and forward with our in-breath. And let it gently fall on the out-breath. Expanding outwardly, not trying to force it out, but just noticing if maybe the stomach expands as we breathe in. Exhale. Maybe visualizing a four petaled lotus flower at the base of our spine. The symbol of our root chakra. And exhale. If it resonates with you, maybe bring hands together in prayer in front of your heart and press your thumb knuckles against your sternum. See if you can notice the beating of your own heart in your physical body.
Now imagine those of us that are here to practice together tonight, that each one of us has a heart inside of our body beating against our chest. And imagine that we're all connected with one heartbeat. That we belong. That we're guided and protected. We're safe and we're secure. You know, as gently and as simply as possible, let's make our way to our backs and have a block handy. Or maybe a folded blanket or a pillow, something that we can use here for some support, but have a blanket to cover you with handy as well. So we have some options in yen, as of course, as always. And so, you know, if, if what I offer doesn't resonate, just let me know and see if we can find something more comfortable yeah, so grab that block, whatever you need. And let's make our way to our backs. And on our backs, the first thing let's do is just hug the knees into the chest. And for those of you that took our pranayama workshop, we know that this apanasana that we're doing right now that activates our apanavayu, that breath that supports us and moving things down and out. So getting rid of what we don't need. So just imagine right now, we're just getting rid of what we don't need. So we can drop into what we do need this evening. And now when you're ready, lower the feet to the ground. And then with your block, let's press our feet down and slide that block just right under the sacrum. So what a knot says, she says, bring the block so it's just right above that little crack that we have back there. Mm. Yep. <laughs> Find that spot and this should not, it shouldn't be painful. So if it doesn't feel comfortable, just let me know or move it around till it does. And bring your arms out long at your side and maybe you bring them up overhead. And then if you want, you can walk your feet out. So your legs are long and that's gonna open up those hip flexors and you might notice a bit of a change in that block in the low back. If this doesn't feel okay, then bring your feet back to the floor. And if it still doesn't feel very well, then we're gonna come onto our stomachs. If it feels okay, stay where you're at. If it doesn't feel okay this evening, come onto your stomach and bring your elbows underneath those shoulders and gently lift the heart. I'm gonna give ourselves about three to four minutes in this shape. Give yourself some breaths to settle into the shape. Then let your breath just come and go. Maybe let your heart drop into the back of the body. Let the eyes fall back into the back of the head. Maybe scan the body from the feet to the head and see if there's anywhere where you can relax just a little more. Maybe it's in those arms. You don't have to hold those arms anywhere. Just let them be. The shape is the magic. There's nothing we need to do. Let's drop into grounding. 
imagining that base of the spine that's supported by the block right now, rooting down deep into the earth. Those roots drawing up any nourishment that it needs. You are completely nourished and supported right now. As we move down, you feel stable and steadfast in your own physical body. Your mind wanders, just bring it back to the base of the spine and to that four petaled red lotus at the base of the spine, whose roots are going down, drawing up nourishment. Whenever you're ready, as simply as you can, bend the knees, bring the feet to the floor, and then lift those hips off the block, remove the block, and extend your legs nice and long. Coming into our rebound, letting that energy flow freely through the body. Dropping into ultimate relaxation. There's nothing we need to do except to be. Let's bring our awareness to our root chakra. On your next breath, just draw in the energy of groundedness. And as you exhale, feel that stability through your entire being. And another breath in. And exhale, let the breath leave the body. One more breath. And exhale. 
And then again, as simply as possible, let's roll over to one side. Pressing ourselves up to a seated position with our legs long in front of the body. Maybe have a blanket handy. We'll come into our caterpillar. So let's let our feet be nice and lazy. They can be really close together or they can be kind of apart. Maybe you want to have your pillow on your lap or a block, but let's fold over. Let the chin drop to the chest. Let the head round forward. Sometimes it's nice to drop the head onto a block. Sometimes I like to stack the blocks. Maybe you notice a rounding in your spine. Yeah, let me get a full circular. How's that softer? How's that? Is that softer? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel anything in your spine or the back of your legs? A stretch. A little stretch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you might feel that little stretch in the spine or the back of the legs. So we're going to drop into that for about five minutes. So you can relax. <laughs> We don't have to think about when we're gonna transition. We can just drop into our shape. Maybe visualize that four petaled red lotus at the base of the spine. Our root chakra. is supportive of grounding into the physical body. But sometimes we will over identify with our physical body, we'll become attached to material possessions, attached to certain personality traits that we identify with. And then we might forget our true nature is spirit So with our focus on our root chakra, we invite balance into our lives. That yes, we do have a physical body and its purpose is to be a home for our soul. So let's drop into that nourishment of our soul's home. Dropping in to feeling fully supported. Reminding yourself that you can breathe freely. Maybe even drawing a breath in and letting the breath go nice and slowly. And doing it again. Resting in the stretch and resting in your soul's home. Your mind starts to wander, maybe just saying over and over, I am at home in my body. I am at home in my body. The body that your soul chose before the beginning of time. I am at home in my body.
and relax the cheeks and the lips. Relaxing the eyelids that you're not squinting your eyes shut, but the eyes just rest peacefully closed. I am at home in my body. Maybe reminding yourself that you cannot do this incorrectly. That this is a sacred place for you to be. A sacred time for yin yoga. Now gently transitioning into your rebound and onto your back. Moving any props out of the way, keeping them handy, but as simply as you can, as effortlessly as you can, just come onto your back to lie flat on the floor. Allowing that chi to flow freely. Chi being that life source energy that flows through our body. So it allows our nervous system to function, our heart to beat, our blood to flow. That subtle energy moving through our body. as we recalibrate after our caterpillar. Now another deep breath in. Exhale, let the breath go. Now let's stay right where we are on our backs. Let's bring our right arm across the chest. So maybe that right hand kind of hangs out. It doesn't touch the ground. And that left hand comes to the right bicep or maybe towards that right elbow. And just rest the left hand on the arm. We'll stretch across the shoulder, maybe even noticing a stretch across the upper back as that left hand just rests on the right arm. We'll be here for a few minutes.
our lung and our heart meridians. They cross over that shoulder and go to the ends of the finger. The lung can often hold grief or sadness. When it's balanced, it supports us in drawing in joy and breathing joy into our being. So sometimes in this shape, those emotions might come up. So just being aware. And as we rest here with our back body against the earth, imagine it rooting down into the earth. That energy of the root chakra being awakened as we remember with more clarity that we're here for our soul's purpose. Noticing some expansion from the spine to the shoulder blade on that right side. Maybe you don't notice anything at all, and that's okay. Remember that just because we don't feel anything, it doesn't mean that the energy isn't there, that our consciousness isn't expanding. Just letting go of any expectation. Your mind wanders, bring your awareness to that root chakra and breathe that energy up the front of the body on the inhale. And as you exhale, feel that energy flow down the back of the body the base of the spine, up the front of the body, down the back of the body. Continuing with your breath. Remove that left hand from the arm and then let both hands gently come to the earth beside us. Lying down in our rebound. Letting that energy flow down and around, side to side, up and down wherever it goes. transition to the 
other side is really simple. We'll just bring that left hand across the body now. And then place that right hand on that left bicep or that left elbow. So the weight of that right hand and gravity brings that left arm kind of towards the chest or towards the ground. And just dropping into this shape. becoming more and more present with every passing moment. Maybe integrating the mantra love. That's the vibration that resonates with our root chakra. So maybe out louder to yourself to sing the mantra love. In your exhale, love. Giving ourselves this gift of grounding, of safety, of security. There's nothing to fear. We are guided and we are protected. And our root chakra is here to give us stability as well as to awaken our energy. So we know that we're not alone and that we are all connected. Dropping into ourself, only to feel connected more and more to one another. like to remain in this shape just a little longer you can otherwise if you're ready for your rebound just drop those arms down gently and kindly and let that energy flow freely mm -hmm. dropping into your physical body maybe the weight of your body a reminder that you have a physical body. But yet that sensation of chi reminding you that that soul that lives within, that soul that's abiding in your physical body is connected to everyone else. You are not alone. You belong.
let's inhale together. And exhale. And then another breath in. Let the breath go. I will gently just roll up onto our hands on our knees, but make sure your blocks are nearby. There's no rush to come to walk to your hands and knees. Moving nice and slow, because we've been taking it really slow. So we're moving slowly. Yeah. And then let's bring our blocks, kind of like train tracks maybe out in front, coming into a supported kind of puppy pose. So there's some options. So you could bring your blocks as wide as you want and then let those sits bones the hips be over the knees and drop the heart to the floor. You can just place your hands on the blocks, yep. Or maybe it feels better to bring the forearms down on the blocks. Maybe it feels better to angle the blocks towards one another and then drop the forearms down. Maybe you're just right with your hands on your blocks. Letting that heart melt into the floor. Maybe your forehead comes to the floor. You can change the height of the blocks if that's comfortable. Remembering that this practice is for you and for what your body needs, for what your soul needs. As we come into this heart melting pose, maybe feeling connected to all living things. It's as if our heart is rooting down to the earth. The sun and the moon shining on our back. completely safe in the physical world. And remembering that beautiful soul that's residing in this vessel.
and gently maybe bringing your hands to the floor and then floating your heart up. And then you can make your way to your stomach or maybe to your back, however you want to spend your rebound after this heart melting pose. Maybe it feels good to hug knees into the chest before you send your legs long. Finding a neutral spine. Nice job. Whenever you guys are ready, you can send the legs long, or maybe you want to stay with your knees tucked in a little longer. Whatever feels right for you. Give ourselves three mindful breaths here. Maybe drawing the breath up from the root chakra, pulling down the spine back to the root. And then again, and again. before letting go of any effort with the breath and just melting into the floor. Well, let's relax in our shavasana. Letting go of any effort in the body. Letting the soles of the feet relax and the palms of the hands. Reminding yourself that Shavasana is your resting pose. So however you find rest, maybe it's not lying flat, but it's legs on a bolster. Let the eyes rest. Let the cheeks soften. The backs of the hands and the palms relax. And the flesh in between the bones of the hands also relaxes. And the fingers relax. Just relax the entire right side of the body. The entire left side of the body. The back of the body. The front of the body. Bring the hips down, and the hips up, relax. Relax the toes of the right foot, the sole of 
the right foot, the right heel, the right knee, the right calf and the right thigh relaxes. All your awareness relaxing the right hip, the right side body, the right chest, the right shoulder blade. The right shoulder and right elbow. And the muscles of the shoulder and the entire arm soften. And your hand relaxes even more. The entire right side of the body relaxes. becomes heavier. Maybe even feels as if you're lying on the side of a cliff with the right side of the body towards the bottom of the cliff. It's that right side was a little heavier. Now bring your awareness to the left toes, the left heel, the entire left foot and relax the left foot. Relax the left calf, the back of the left leg, the top of the left leg, the left ankle, knee and hip. The left leg becomes heavy and relaxing. This home of your soul relaxing and safe. The left side body, the left ribs, the left chest relaxes. The left shoulder, the left elbow, left wrist, the muscles in the shoulder and the entire left arm soften and relax. The left palm, the back of the left hand, the flesh under the fingernails and the entire left hand softens and relaxes. Entire left side relaxes. The sides of the neck relax. The back of the neck, the throat. The left ear, the right ear and the inner ears relax. Your face softens, your head relaxes. And we drop into all the beautiful energy of a stable root chakra feeling grounded and present, supported and connected to all living things. Dropping into a oneness of your surroundings letting go.
remind yourself that this is your practice. If you want to rest in Shavasana a little longer and you have the time, please do so. If you want to come to a seated position, you can do that at your own time, at your own pace. With kindness and awareness. To get to seated, maybe finding that comfortable seat and just dropping into your supported seated position for just a few breaths. Maybe you bring hands in prayer to your chest and notice the beating of your own heart. You drop into the energy within you and feel connected to each one of us here tonight and to every living being. Let's exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thanks, Denise.